Okay, so this is um, my Little Golden Moments shawl, which is a top-down um, semicircle shawl. And it has a garter tab at the beginning, but you can see there that it's nice and straight across the top. So what sometimes happens with garter tabs is, um, especially if you're making a garter stitch shawl, um, because you get a lot of stitches crammed in here when you're picking up, this can sometimes kind of bulge up the way and you get a bump uh, along the top of your shawl. So there is um, a really, really good um, kind of guide. It's not a pattern. It's more of a guide, a how-to um, on Ravelry called The Tale of Two Shawls. And in that, the I can't remember the name of the writer, but she shows you how to make a bump-free garter tab, um, which is effectively what you're doing is putting yarn overs along the top here instead of just picking up every single, um, in every single garter ridge, which I'll show you in a minute. If you haven't done a garter tab cast on before, this might not mean a lot to you, but but there is a sort of a thing with garter tabs that they do tend to kind of bulge up like that. So if you go on Ravelry, you can download that guide called The Tale of Two Shawls, and she shows you how to make it with yarn overs. But I'm going to show you how to do that just now as well. Um, so I also know that the bit that people struggle with, the other bit that people find hard is the a uh, bit where you've got to pick up stitches along the cast on edge. So um, I will show you how to do that. A, a sort of a slightly different way to do that that makes it a little bit neater. Um, my little stand here has just decided to fall off the desk, which is very, very helpful. Let's see if I can get it back on. Okay, so here is a bit of knitting. Um, so usually with a garter tab, you cast on three stitches and you knit a few rows, um, depending on how many stitches it's asking you to pick up. So you finish like this and it asks you to turn it 90 degrees, which I always find, well, I used to find really confusing until I realized it meant to do that. Okay. So you've knitted that way. Then you turn 90 degrees and you're going to pick up stitches all along here. So you're picking up really uh, one stitch in each of these little garter ridges. And what I try to do is pick up the stitch right in the middle there of each of the bumps at the top. So I'll go in here and wrap my yarn around and pull through a stitch. And then here, that's another one. So I think I've done five. I've got five to pick up here, one in each of these ridges. So just make sure that you're going into the middle of that of that garter ridge um, and you're going under two strands on the edge. That helps to make it neater. And then I've got one more in here. And then along that bottom edge here, what I did, which I'll show you in a minute, um, I used a crochet hook and I did that um, crochet cast on, which I'll show you. So it means that I've got, I've got one stitch here, one here and one there that I can pick up under. So I'm going to go under those two strands there and put my yarn, that's the tail. So I don't want to knit with that. Pick up a stitch there, go under that stitch from the cast on edge and pick up. And then that's the last one there. So that's what you're doing. You knit the garter strip and then you pick up along the long edge and then you pick up three stitches along the um, cast on edge and then you would work your wrong side row. So I'll just show you how to do that cable, uh, not cable cast on, the crochet cast on. So you need a crochet hook and I've just got a plain needle here just so I can show you. But basically if you tie your slip knot onto the crochet hook, 
and I found that this way of casting on for this makes it easier to pick up the stitches on the cast on um, edge. So you put it, hold the crochet hook in your right hand and put the working yarn underneath your needle and then you just put the yarn over the crochet hook and pull it through this, this uh, slip knot here. Okay, and so then you've got one stitch cast on. Then put the yarn round to the back of the knitting needle and then loop it round the crochet hook and pull that through the stitch that's on the crochet hook. It is a little bit awkward, but you only have to do that twice because I've got two stitches there and then this one, the last one, just you just put that one on the needle and then you've got three. And then if you look under here, you can see you've got one, two, three stitches there that are a bit easier to see than a usual cast on for picking up. And the other thing you could do if you really wanted to make sure that you picked up when you were at the garter tab that you picked up those stitches is you could just put one of these um, lockable stitch markers through each one. So like that. And then when you come to pick them up, you could identify them quite easily. Um, but th I find that that cast on, although it is a wee bit awkward to do, you're only casting on three stitches and you it is much easier than to see when you pick up for the garter tab. Now, the other thing I'll show you is how to make the garter tab um, bump free. So I'll just take this out here, back to the, the three that I had. Okay, so basically what you're doing is when you make the garter tab and it kind of stretches up and it makes a bump, it's because you've got lots of stitches crowded in to a small space. So what you need to do is instead of picking up a stitch in each of these ridges here, is make a yarn over in between. So um, I'm, I've still I've still knitted the same number of rows as the pattern would tell me to and I'm going to end up with the same number of stitches but instead of picking up in this first ridge here I'm going to make a yarn over. So I'll bring the yarn to the front and just put it across my needle and then I'm going to so I'm missing that one out but I've got a yarn over which is the equivalent of the stitch picked up in there. Then I'm going to pick up a stitch in the next ridge and then I'm not going to pick up in this one, so instead I'll make a yarn over. And then I'll pick up in the next one along. And then I will miss this one out but make a yarn over instead because I want to keep my stitch count the same. And then I will pick up along my cast on edge. So I'm turning it 90 degrees again and I can see quite clearly I've got one, two, three stitches on this cast on edge because I used the crochet cast on um, I can pick up in there so that's one two three now you won't be able to see straight away um, how this bump free garter tab makes a difference but um, as you start knitting you will see that it is much flatter than a normal garter tab and um, it works especially well if you're making a shawl with a yarn over uh, increase at each edge because these yarn overs that you've made along the top of the garter tab um, just kind of fit in and they mirror it. Um, I'll show you on this one here. So this is the little golden moments shawl which uses this bump free garter tab and it's got little yarn overs there and um, you know it looks nice and neat and it matches in with the rest of the shawl so that's some tips there for starting um top down shawls with a garter tab um the workshop i'm running at the weekend on sunday um, is about edgings of shawls so the opposite of the of the garter tab but um there's still some places left if you fancy joining us um, you can find the link for tickets in my profile if you're watching later on Instagram or if you're watching the replay later on Facebook. And also if you're watching later on YouTube, they'll be in the little description uh, down below to get a ticket for that workshop. Okay, I will see you next Thursday. Um, enjoy the rest of your day.
Bye.